participating in undergraduate group research projects at the University of Arizona. All right, good morning everybody. I am Kevin hardegree Allman, and I am actually with the University of Toledo now as a graduate student. Uh, but I spent many years with the University of Arizona Astronomy Club along with Jake helping to rebuild it um, since 2007. And I will be talking today about the benefits of peer mentoring in undergraduate group research. So starting off with some motivation, most students that take the research track and really finish with an astronomy or astronomy and physics degrees will probably go on to further study as a graduate student. And in recent years, at least the past 15 years, graduate student enrollment has been increasing. So that means that competition is much harder um, to get into some of these programs. So if you go ask anybody on a graduate committee, they'll probably tell you three things that they primarily look at. First, they'll look for decent grades in upper level physics classes. They might look at your general GRE and physics GRE scores. But what I would focus most on is undergraduate research experience. I've heard many success stories about students who have done awesome research. They might have gotten some crappy grades, but uh, the research was really what um, put them over the top um, because they have plentiful experience doing research. So I'm going to focus on the research aspect. So the typical track that people will take uh, as an undergraduate is to, uh, for doing research, is to start looking for a research advisor your junior or senior year, once you've kind of become attuned or taken some of the intro classes to get you um, integrated into the system. So your junior or senior year, you search for a research advisor. Once you find that research advisor, however, you might hit a few roadblocks. Um, your research advisors are usually very well versed in what they do, and you go up to them, have a meeting uh, at least once a week, and you will learn a lot from them in those weekly meetings. But it seems like the second you leave their office, you can't quite remember all those hundreds of really awesome things that they just taught you. So there's kind of a, an aura of logical distortion. I like to kind of put this into context for all of the students uh, that what we do is imagine us going into a kindergarten class and trying to teach a kindergarten class. Sure, we took it 15, 20 years ago, but do you really think that you have that kind of level of connect with the students? But hopefully you can get over some of those roadblocks. Uh, maybe publish a paper, hopefully before uh, grad applications are due, and pray that you did enough <laughs> as uh, research that you'll actually look good to graduate committees. So I'm going to suggest kind of an alternative route to take, and the route that many uh, club members are taking right now to kind of improve their chances at going on in their studies. So start early. That is probably the best advice anybody can give you. Um, it's really hard to get first or second year students, but that's really the target range that you want to get into these programs. Uh, because the more research experience you get earlier on, you look better. Um, you're also better um, in tune to get uh, like REUs. So start your first or second year. It's kind of like having your first job. They always want experience, but nobody's willing to give you the first job to get experience. So uh, we're more than welcome to give you experience. So we've set it up so that experienced students mentor incoming students. There's only an average two or three year age gap, which is better than a 20, 15 year age gap um, for standard research. Students learn very well alongside each other because it's more of a, a friendly, you, you can hang out with these guys uh, atmosphere. So we like to learn alongside each other. They also help uh, to develop communication skills, and if there's something that I want you to take out of this, it's that communication is really the, the key aspect we need to focus on if we want to be successful as astronomers. Um, funding is really a hard situation right now, but if we can be able to communicate to the public that we can, we can do this and this stuff is really cool, then um, we'll be better off as a society. Uh, students, as Amanda was saying, students uh, are involved in the entire research process. 
And this is a very sustainable process because incoming students will eventually become the product, project leaders. So I've graduated and I was the lead of a couple projects. Uh, Jake is about to go off to Virginia, but we've already trained these wonderful other students to kind of take over and fill our shoes. And hopefully uh, that will help pave the way to the future. So I'd like to thank the current club for keeping everything uh, wonderful and thriving. So thank you very much. <laughs>
We, we've had, so there's, there are, that's a very loaded question. I can go many routes with that. So, so feel free to talk during our, during our discussion, but so far the faculty has been very supportive. Um, I actually do remember walking into John Deeking's office, telling him we want to do a project and we'll eventually publish a paper, and he kind of laughed. He giggled. He's like, this is fully student run. I, I am fully supportive of it, but let's see where it goes. And a few years later, we have a published paper that for a project that is fully undergraduate student run. And we've connected with um, at least three other institutions to finish that project. So um, our department may seem skeptical at first, but so far the students have shown enough initiative that, and motivation, and they're still continuing to thrive. Um, they somehow find the time to do this. Um, having this as an independent research course can help, um, but uh, students are motivated, so the department has so far been very supportive. Kevin, can I comment? Can I, can I have to hold your questions Not on. a question. It'll be really quick. You have Not 10 seconds. Sorry, sorry, no, go ahead. <laughs> we are going to have open discussion for 15 yeah, minutes afterwards. Related to that, I, I, I cannot let you go. I must okay. let the next speaker speak. Thank you. Thank you.